Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Hair by Princess Aurora's. My name is Aurora and today I'm going to show you guys how I flat iron my hair in order to get body and volume. Now it does help to have some layers in your hair, but first of all, I want you to put down all those volumizing products. No. Put away that teasing comb. What? I, I can't live without this. Yep, that crimp iron too. Don't even think about grabbing that round brush. No. You gotta be kidding me, Apple. And I'm gonna show you guys how I flat iron my hair right now. So before I show you guys the technique, I'm gonna show you something that you've already been doing and why this applies to a flat iron as well. So I'm gonna take this section from here and I'm gonna use my curling iron. I'm gonna feed the hair into the curling iron and I'm just gonna produce a regular curl. Now typically when you do these curls, you always leave them on base. When it's right on top of the section, it's called on base. So I'm gonna tap the iron out. I'm gonna pin it down. So because it's on base, you see all that volume now? Once it cools, that volume is not gonna go away. So while that curl cools down, I'm gonna show you how to use the crimp iron. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this out of the way. I'm gonna grab this section right here. And I'm just gonna apply it there. Now notice how I'm applying the iron. I'm not applying it like this, I'm applying it up here. And then I just do a few taps. Now, before I let it go, I want you guys to pay attention to the fact that the hair, this section of hair is a 90 degree angle from the head. So because this is perpendicular to the head, there's gonna be volume right underneath here. And not only that, but because the crimp iron created ridges on the hair, when I let it down, the ridges are gonna disconnect from each other, which will keep it from lining up with each other. So that's why you get the volume, but not only from the ridges, but because of the fact that you have to hold the iron perpendicular to the head. So I'm gonna let it go. See that? That's gonna help to add volume. Now if I break this up, I thought this was a flat iron video, not a curling video. Now I'm gonna let it down. See how you can already see the volume before even letting it down? And then I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna let the curl down. And there you go. There's the volume. And now for the flat iron. But first, I'm gonna show you how to blow dry your hair to help the flat ironing process. So I'm gonna start with my typical detangling process, which includes rewetting my hair and combing through my wet hair with my Pink Pewter Never Let Go Detangling Comb. And then I'll be applying my Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. Now I apply this product in a very specific way. I will always take a quarter size amount and I will distribute it through the back side of my head, then the top and sides, and then I will distribute it through the ends of my hair. I do it this way because I have had very good luck with achieving volume and frizz-free strands. I also like to use this product as my heat protectant. And now I'm gonna go in with my Hot Tools blow dryer and I'm just gonna rough dry my hair. The reason why I don't go in with a round brush or even a paddle brush is because I'm going to strip all the texture out of my hair. And if I remove that texture, I'm gonna have trouble gaining volume. I have found that when I do brush my hair and my strands are smooth, I do not have as much volume as I would like. So I need to leave that texture in. So I'm gonna rough dry my hair and I will either pick up my roots with my fingers or I will flip my head upside down and get volume that way. So now that my hair is 100% dry, and as you can see, I have tons of volume on top and sides, I'm gonna go in with my smoothing brush, which is a mixture of boar and nylon bristles, which is important for, again, to smooth and add shine to your hair. 
and I'm just going to brush the ends of my hair. I'm not going to touch the roots like I mentioned before because I will brush out all that volume that I worked hard to create. And now I'm going to go in with my Hot Tools Black Gold Flat Iron at 285 degrees. I do not go beyond that temperature just because I find it unnecessary for my hair. And I've noticed that when I use a higher heat setting, I will tend to lose all the volume that I again just created. So all these little things play a factor in how much body and volume your hair is going to have after you're done styling. Also, typically I will do two passes of my flat iron for one section and that is just to ensure that I have straightened out my wave pattern. So the nape isn't too important when it comes to volume, so now I'm going to demonstrate how I use my flat iron. I always, always, always pull my flat iron out instead of down. And this is when you will see the difference in volume. So my left side has volume and you're going to see on my right side I'm going to pull it straight down and you're gonna see there's a lack of volume there. Is that it? And that is how I create volume with my flat iron. So everything above my ears, I'm just gonna pull my flat iron straight out from the position of that section. So my flat iron's gonna be perpendicular. I do not ever pull my flat iron straight down. If you pull it straight down, you are not gonna have volume and you're gonna be struggling and battling with products and tools trying to get the volume that you want. All you have to do is pull the flat iron away from you. That is it. So because I'm pulling the flat iron away from me, that section of hair is now going to have a slight bend to it due to gravity. And with that bend comes volume. So it's the same principle as when you use a curling iron, a crimp iron, and a blow dryer. That is why that volume is created. So the goal of this style is not to achieve pin straight hair. Pin straight hair does not equal volume, at least for my specific hair type. Even when I get a blowout at the salon, as smooth and shiny as my hair is, it is lacking so much volume. So this is how I achieve volume with these steps. So again, my hair is not going to be pinned straight, but it will be straight enough to the point where I still have texture, body, and volume. So even though I had brushed my hair prior to using the flat iron, the reason why I'm brushing my ends out again is just to make sure that my ends are tangle free. You don't want to be passing a flat iron over a tangle or a knot just because you're going to break your ends that way. So you want to make sure they're nice and straight, as straight as can be, before going in with the flat iron. And really you're supposed to use a comb simultaneously with the flat iron so it can comb out the ends as you're passing the flat iron. But since that's kind of hard to do on myself, that's why I do the brush beforehand. Now you're going to notice when I take down this next section that it's going to have a lot of volume underneath it. And then when I pass the flat iron through that section, you're going to see that the volume remains unaffected. And again, this is because I brought the flat iron out rather than down. Now when it comes to my bangs, it just depends on where the hair is growing from. So I may either pull it out to the side or I will pull it straight up. But either way, it's a given to have volume with your bangs just because it's shorter. So that's why I said earlier in the video that it helps to have layers in your hair if volume is what you wish to achieve. So because I have texture in my hair, that is why my bangs kind of flipped out. So I'm demonstrating how I fix that. And I just fix that by just simply bending the iron in towards my face and that'll flatten it out. And this is the final result with all the texture, volume, and body I could ever want from a flat iron. So I'd also like to add that throughout the day, I'm still gonna go in and rough up my roots so I can get my volume back. Now that's not because I'm not using volumizing products. 
that's only because the weather and whatever activity I may be doing that day, it's going to affect my volume. So by all means, continue to use your favorite volumizing products. <sighs> Not getting those minutes back. And I'll take these with me. Thank you very much. Or any tools that you love to use to get your volume. Oh, good. The other reason why I didn't want to use it in this video was to show you that that crucial detail of how you hold your flat iron when you straighten your hair is very important because as you saw, you can still get volume just by changing your positioning of the flat iron. Now, if you add your volumizing products and your tools, your hair is going to be amazing. Well, that's it for today, guys. I thank you so much for watching. Please press all those YouTube buttons that let me know you're enjoying my channel. And also go follow my Instagram at Hair by Princess Aurora's. And if you do all that, I'll see you guys next Thursday. Stay safe out there, count your blessings, and keep it humble. Bye!